All right, here we are with 3D Mark 11 performance results. Uh, we are running a 3770K at 4.6 gigahertz on a Maximus 5 formula. And we have two OCZ vectors in RAID 0 for our OS drives and some storage drives and XFX Pro Black 850 watt gold power supply and an NZX Switch 810. And to start off our numbers here, for a single Radeon HD 7950 at a reference clock of 800 megahertz, we have the light blue bar. And then when you enable uh, Virtue MVP, you'll see a significant performance increase, which would be the orange bar right next to it. And in the middle, the gray bar, we have an overclock of 1000 megahertz, which is what uh, my particular model came out of the box at. They are the Gigabyte WinForce 3 editions. And then to the right of that, we have the yellow bar, with my uh, maximum overclock of 1100 megahertz and then to the right of that we have the dark blue bar and that is with an 1100 megahertz overclock with virtue MVP enabled and as you can see that is a pretty significant performance increase just under 13k there with a graphics score of 14444 which is pretty impressive and that is Virtue MVP 2.0 definitely doing its job there the downfall of that is it only works with a single graphics card it does not work with Crossfire And now we'll move on to the crossfire results. Um, on the left, the light blue bar. Once again, we have the reference clock of 800 megahertz for the 7950s. And then the orange bar would be with a clock of 1000 megahertz. And the gray bar being our overclock of 1100 megahertz. Not a huge increase, definitely not as much as a single card. And if we could have Virtue MVP enabled, I'm sure that would make quite a big of a difference as well. And at the end of the test here, it's just going through its physics tests and then its combined test likes to sit there for a while probably like 30 seconds and there it goes But that should about cover it. Thanks for watching.